Well, it's a group of college colleges. Uh, we have four colleges coming into town, and their teams are staying with us, their coaches, and the people that, the parents, and the people that are coming to watch the game, the games will be here. Now tell me a little bit about these tournaments like that. They're mostly at the soccer complex, of course, Frisbee, et cetera. Are you seeing a, a, a larger group of uh, people coming to just watch the games? We are, we are seeing a lot more. Uh, events going on at the soccer complex have just, it's amazing how much they have driven people to our area. They're, um, we have soccer, we have lacrosse, we have uh, football. I mean, there are so many different things. And they're coming in the area, they're staying here, they're eating here, they're, they're going to the stores, convenience stores, they're getting gas. I mean, it's really a huge impact on the community. On an average weekend when there's nothing going on in Martinsville, what kind of increase do you think you're seeing at the Quality Inn, Dutch Inn, uh, when you're having these tournaments in multiple, you say four colleges are basically staying here at the Dutch Inn? Right, four teams are staying here. Um, well, I can tell you about last weekend we also had the NCBA here with us, and we also had other events going on, and they're all sporting events. So these, these groups that we're having, it's all centralized around the sports and the athletics in the area. And we had 100 rooms just from athletics this past weekend. So that's a huge increase over what we would normally have because we've, you know, we used to depend on the corporate travelers and now we're having to depend on more of these athletes and these other areas of interest that people are coming in to do and see and it's really, it's really been huge for us.